This is such a magical and an inspirational night. It's the Ever After Ball, and it's coming up this weekend, Saturday night, right here on our CBS lot. St. Baldrick's Foundation organizes this event, and they do so much for childhood cancer research all year. Uh, this gala this year honors a young survivor, Lauren Hammersley, is the organizer and radio host. Uh, Ellen Kay is here, and uh, you're going to be honored this year, Ellen. I am. Um, so I'm really honored to be honored, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really uh, so happy to be a part of it to help raise awareness and to help money get money for childhood cancers and yeah. be with this lovely lady. <laughs> So. We've only known each other since last year, but I feel like we're family, and mm -hmm. they've done so much for, for Hazel and our family, and mm -hmm. just for childhood cancer in general, so we were thrilled to invite her and her co-host, Ryan Mano, to our, our event this year. And when you mention Hazel, Hazel's your daughter, she passed away in uh, late in March, March. Yeah. Yeah. and this yeah. is going to be the first year for this event without, without her. her, and I, I, I can sense that you are... Um, you are determined to, mm -hmm. yeah. to go forward, and perhaps even more so now. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly has been difficult, but it has, it has given us a purpose to our grief. And I truly believe that I can't just give up the fight because she's not here. And like you said, even more so now, I feel like there's, there's a purpose behind all of this, and we need to keep moving forward and help children to not suffer the same fate. Right. When we talk about pediatric cancers, there's, there is a lot of sadness involved, but there's yes. also so many success stories yes. mm -hmm. and joys yes. to celebrate. And that's what this night is about, yes. funding the research mm -hmm. so we have more joys than Yes, than so stars. every kid can have a happily ever after. And this year we're honoring a leukemia survivor, and she survived a very rare form of it, pH positive, <clears throat> excuse me, pH positive leukemia, and she survived it twice. Oh, so amazing. Grace Bumstead, she's incredible. She was a friend of Hazel's, and we're thrilled to have her family there as well. And we're honoring her oncologist, too. And Ellen, I know, I know this must be just a treat for you to be there um, among all this. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we're really involved not only with the Hammersleys, and we were very, very close with Hazel, and we continue to be so. We always say every day when we talk, um, Hazel sent me a sign today. Yes. And she, <laughs> you know, she'll be there at the event uh, on Saturday. So it so. is a thrill. I love to be able to, um, to work together with Lauren and St. Baldrick's and just get the awareness out there yeah. that it really can help so many kids and we like to focus on the on the joy aspect yes mm -hmm. yes so and st baldrick's their goal is to take childhood back from cancer and i mm -hmm. think that that's just such an incredible mm -hmm. and profound thing to say and they're the leading private funder of childhood cancer research worldwide so that's why we support them and they do such a good job and i i truly believe that we'll get on a trajectory to find cures and we just we're not there yet and right. that's why we're doing this and that's why you're working so hard for yes. this you call it a ball because yeah. it really is it's a it's an enchanted evening it right is. tell us about the event ball yeah ball. yeah <laughs> it is. it's incredible it's everyone comes dressed to the nines um mm -hmm. we have a full service dinner a cash bar but we also have free beer and wine which we're really thrilled about <laughs> and then we have a silent auction this year we're doing a live auction we have some incredible opportunities in that um we have a LAPD helicopter ride along, and then we also have uh, tickets to Disney World and a, a three-day oh. stay at a hotel. So it's going to be really cool. And then it's also kind of involved with music this year since we're honoring mm -hmm. Coast 103.5 Morning mm -hmm. Show. And we have two musical guests for the evening as well. So it's going to be really, really great. Oh, such a fun night. Tickets still available. Yes. Lauren, thank you for being here. Thanks Ellen Kay, always us. a pleasure. Thanks. Again. Thanks, ladies. Again, the Ever After Ball is coming up this Saturday night. It is right here on our CBS lot in Studio City. Such a great setting, too. Yes. And all the fun starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, you can check out our website, kcal9.com.